Radiant heat and light from the sun, also called solar energy, has been described as the most readily accessible resource in South Africa. The Earth's land surface, oceans and atmosphere absorb solar radiation constantly and as humans we have found ways of harnessing this energy to power a variety of tools which we use every day. Whenever I think of solar power, the first thing that comes to mind is this calculator on my desk. I find it amazing that these small panels or photovoltaic modules generate and supply electricity to the calculator using energy from the sun. What's more astounding is that this same principle is being applied on a massive scale in South Africa. And for the first time, we will be able to use renewable energy from the national grid. The Kalkbult solar power project in the Northern Cape is set to generate 135 million kilowatt hours a year. That's equivalent to the annual electricity consumption of 33,000 households. This is fantastic news for our environment because solar energy is known to be safe and environmentally friendly, unlike the fossil fueled power plants. We all know that a large percentage of South Africa's energy needs are derived from coal and have been for a long time. It's also no secret that the production and use of coal has had a serious impact on the environment. But the future of energy production in South Africa is looking much brighter with the launch of this giant 75 megawatt power plant by global energy provider Skatec Solar. The Kalkbult solar power plant near Pietrasville in the Northern Cape was launched on Tuesday the 12th of November 2013 and is the first of many renewable energy plants to come online. Already back in 2010, we started looking for sites close to a substation, uh, good location in terms of uh, grid and so forth. And uh, so we were ready, you know, when they go, went public in the beginning of, or in the middle of 2011. The Kalkbult plant is among 47 solar, wind and mini hydro projects awarded 20 year contracts to generate electricity under the government's renewable energy independent power producer procurement program. During our IRP 2010, it was envisaged that we will actually produce more renewable energy to reduce our carbon emissions. And also through the speeches made at Copenhagen, we are aiming to produce it or reduce it at least 40% by 2030. So the renewables aim at actually making sure that we are not so much dependent on coal and actually use more of the renewable energy, which will then reduce our carbon emissions. On this specific site, 800,000 man hours were recorded. Man hours consisting of 174 hours per month and that was all done by the local community. So you can work out for yourself that was quite a few jobs created in this area alone, just on this specific site. Valuable skills were gained by many of the employees, including Mornay Martins. I have my life changed when I got very hard to learn. Because I got first cable and then from the cable I got to learn so far to learn. My supervisor has taught me all this time to do termination and so I was on the road that I got to know on the end of the day on the termination I got out that I can semi-skill now, or I'm like semi-skill electrician yet now. For a solar power plant of this size, you need a huge area of land, and the Kalkbut plant has mounted 312,000 solar panels across 156 kilometers of substructure. That is huge. The Kalkbut plant has been built on a sheep farm in the Northern Cape, owned by Kurt Kroch. But one can't help but wonder at the logistics involved in farming sheep and energy from the sun at the same time. I think it was because of the power grid runs through here and it's basically empty, so they, they could put a farm up here, a solar farm. And uh, then it started every month, they started coming and uh, we got it involved like that. It's a really big project. What are the challenges of having this set up on your farm? Does it impact on your farming at all? Well, it's, we've got the sun here and we've got uh, the ground is nice and flat and there's no pollution here. And I'll still be able to put my sheep on here after the project's finished. So I, I'm losing nothing. For a decent standard of living and quality of life, South Africans need access to energy and more importantly, it must be clean energy for it to be sustainable. The modules can be removed after 20, 25 years as can the substructure, so the land can stay as it was before the project started. And are there any other projects that are in the pipeline anywhere else in South Africa? Yes, Skatec Solar itself 
has some projects we are already working on. There's one farther south in the Northern Cape province, and there's one in the Eastern Cape province. So we're very satisfied to be working on those, and we hope soon to be working on more projects of the same kind. Using renewable energy has a whole host of environmental, social and economic benefits, but it also means that we can start taking control of our own energy production. It has the potential to turn families, businesses and even farmers into owners and managers of their own energy in the future.